Mak pilih deh. Um, only one and so bad. And you are get it? Mm-hmm. I feel it. You're not a bone like I'm that. Hurt right now. <laughs> You're not a bone lover like that. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcomes, welcomes, welcomes. I think those are our notifications you just got at the same time. Yes. Welcomes, welcomes, welcomes to Yardy Belly TV. <clears throat> Official Jamia to the world. Official Jamia to the world. So, oh my gosh, I forgot now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the light. Hmm. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. As soon as you hop on, just identify yourself or just say hi, so we can say hi back and um, let us know where you're watching from because we are super interested to know where you're from. Geo Green V. Good morning. New Jersey's in the house. Wait, what are you doing? Um, New York. New York in the house. Hey, maybe we may come on. Cha Cha B. Good morning. North Carolina is in the house. You know, I work with me, Lapi. Oh, um, <laughs> um, Charlotte. Charlotte's in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. <laughs> blessings, blessings, blessings. Big up on herself. Good morning, one and all. Good morning to you guys. This morning, we're making something that is quintessential Jamaican. And if you guys are from Jamaica, you must love this. And if you're not from Jamaica, oh, they see it already. They know. They see it in the title. Ha, ha, ha. I'm never gonna try it. I'm just letting you Pretty know. No, no, sus, uh, we call it suspense. Yes, you were. You I'm were not saying like if you're from Jamaica, then you know it from Jamaica, then you know it from Jamaica. No, I'm saying Jamaica, if they're from know. Jamaica, them already know say it nice. And if you're not from Jamaica, you have to find find it and try it because it is delicious. Do you know that I've seen his, the Hispanic version or the African version of the same dish um, with tomato sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, trust me. Mm -hmm. feel it, feel I'm sharing the information, guys, on my Facebook page. Anyway, guys, so as usual, as we do on Thursday mornings at 10 ish, we are live, live, live. Yardy Belly is live. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy Belly is alive. Yardy Belly TV live. Where are you? Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yardy Belly is cooking. We're cooking in the morning and cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yardy Belly is cooking. Yardy Belly TV, we cooking, cooking, cooking. Mackerel, mackerel. <laughs> Palm Bay in the house. Palm Bay in the house. Florida is in the house. Hey, hey baby, 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 come on. on. Baby, 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 come, come on. on. Baby, 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 come, come on. on. All right, guys. So let me show you what we're working with. And guys, salt mackerel has gotten very pricey for some unknown reason. But let me show you. Bam bam and then bam <laughs> all right so yeah it probably doesn't look very pleasant to the eye initially but you best believe well it's... initially it looked like real fish but now that it has been cooked um right desalinated and let me give you a couple of disclaimers yes for the mackerel salt mackerel cooking process most well i don't know if it's most people some people remove the skin portion in rum good morning Mm -hmm. some people remove the, the skin portion and so it looks nice and brown all over but we personally like the skin so we're not removing that and um also most people just discard the head but 
you already know what it is this is a part of the head so we're gonna cook um the portions of the head that look decent and it's already deboned mm -hmm. also we do not throw out the middle bones guys that's she all of this is her guys don't it, believe him how all of this is she she love chomp on the bones like you know me no know me just me no know what kind of person this me married to where eat fish bone and mackerel head if you ever chew on this it's like heaven so it's like heaven to chew on the bone <laughs> So I'm, I'm telling you guys that we already took out the major bones. So now we're going to, you know, what And we it's call, just the minor bones. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pick it up. Yeah. Not, yeah pick it, want... not pick it up as in pick it up. You know. We'll shred it. We're going to, no, we're not shredding it. I'll break it, it into, into, into um, manageable pieces. Yeah, we're oh, going to. Oh, babes, we mm -hmm. need the other cutting board. You know, see me, I cut garlic on your board. Yeah, but I know. I'm sorry. Chacha I B, I like skin and bone. Trust me. Chacha B, stop supporting her with the foolish things. Chacha B, is. don't support it. Chacha B, do not in, make sure inveigle you. I know that normal people don't eat mackerel skin and mackerel bone. You understand? It's only the animalistic type of people, them, like certain people that I am in present company included. I notice you only have garlic and onion and tomato and pepper and shadow bunny. What's up with that? What else we need? Everything. I don't know what else. Jamaican. You tell me. What well, else should I? Where is the skeleton under the, the time? Oh, go and feed for me now. I cannot leave. <laughs> so guys, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, please. You might have to just close out the chat for a quick second. Just, you know, just let me show you. Now. Just hit the X. Hit the X. And then hit the like. Really? See and then hit the like and then hit the like no hit the <laughs> like yeah and then when you hit the like it just hit back live chat so you just you know taking yourself out of the chat just for a quick second just to hit the like button just because why because you like we <laughs> cha cha b session at normal and uh, n ram n ram asefi you see of the head and the bone see it there can't believe See there? real real jamaican eater people in there real no, jamaican ma, no watch a eater argument the my girl watch a eater <laughs> argument there you understand you're not real from jamaican style my people then culinary people in there. right say culinary no food is food is. yes yes real jamaican food Boy, eater. no eater no around here you understand <laughs> All right, so you just cut up your fresh seasonings, which is very important, and don't skim on the. And this is two mackerels, guys, two whole mackerels, mm -hmm. and we had to search far and wide if we didn't want to break the bank. <laughs> you know why? Why salt mackerel so expensive? Overall, guys, let me just say this, and um, I say, guys, folks, folks, overall food price and go up, and things are get a little way out of street. So me just am making a note. So I have to be careful. Two tomato. When you have the mackerel on, you have to yes, have tomato. Yes, so have to. And her dad, her dad used to curry the mackerel on. Who said that? Yes, of course. Your daddy used to put curry in the mackerel on. Me know. You better know what my daddy used to do. Of I mean, course. <laughs> your daddy used to put curry in the mackerel on. Do rundown. not talk about my daddy. Um, Your leave, pooper. Leave my daddy alone. Him used to put curry in the mackerel <laughs> around guys. Tracy Ham, good morning. You know, so this morning you run across my mind and I'm like... Bet that's, why you're, that's why you get up tired. Right. <laughs> What's the best say, Tracy? I'm going to turn up on the live this morning. I true, she not eat mackerel around down, don't Right. She don't eat mackerel around down. No, no. Guys, may I break the mackerel into big pieces? Because guess what? Sometimes when you eat mac when you get mackerel around down, it's always... In a, in a little. I do not. I know, say, I don't name them something here, Tracy. You understand? Tracy, I'm going to make some, um, wait, I'm the field. I'm going to make some, um, bully beef random. <laughs> oh, should I, bully beef? Oh, <laughs> such, whoops. There it Told is. Told you. Guys. You keep manipulating it, and that's what happens when you manipulate it. For Anybody in the Port St. Lucie area? Or its environs? Yeah, Tracy. So, so no, who knows if Tracy isn't from the um person who's here? Anybody else? <laughs> mm -hmm. So tomorrow Yardy Belly is doing his debut vegan. What do you call it? Vegan to order? Yeah, pop up. Vegan pop up. <laughs> so you can order your teriyaki 
tofu bowls. <laughs> and it's going to be a delicious vegan bowl with quinoa or yellow rice. You choose. Or All of them pink nice. rice or purple rice. It's no time. It's to order. So you order and we, if, if we're nice, we'll deliver. Depends. Yeah. You know? And who the person is asking for delivery. <laughs> you know, if the person come rob your banana and your, ma your apple out of your fridge, no delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm placing my order now. Go ahead, ma'am. Place your order. <laughs> send some to Maryland. Tony, may I send it, brother. May I send it. Teriyaki tofu bowl. Let me tell you guys. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> when I tasted that dish, I'm like, this one is for the books. Uh, you want me to do some curry chickpeas to on the side? Yeah. yeah. So if not, nobody don't want tofu, then can get some chickpeas. Just, just two things now to come out. They love the things. <laughs> but mommy don't want to pressure the thing, man. Everybody loved it. And then can get a combo plate. Tony Walker, good morning to you too. Send, oh, I'm saying something. Here, Tracy says she want both. So she can get a combo plate. That you want course. both as in two foods or both as in a combo? You understand? So, to be sorry, if you are need your combo plate. Um, Tofu isn't good for you. God, Jesus. I think it is. Um, it is debatable whether they, they saw. It's sour base, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the thing with tofu is, and and for the most part, it it is it has really no nutritional value. It mm -hmm. is just something to keep your your stomach um from waiting in there, from getting gas and all them something there. Oh no, me, me not eating on jail green. The lady is there. <laughs> Sorry for your manhood. <laughs> oh, so it's not good for men. Get you know, a year. Oh. I didn't know so never protect my, my own. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hey. Dear Green, thank you so much for that heads up. I'll be protecting my own. <laughs> <laughs> for your my own. <laughs> Char Graham, big up yourself to my brother. Try. Welcome. So, welcome. oh, try never tell me all these things. Try. We never talk, talk about the correlation between soy and manhood. <laughs> Why you keep on? Why you keep on? A, a separate the word. Eh? Manhood, manhood. <laughs> why you keep separating the word? That be one no. Mm -hmm. You have to fix this, baby. I'm gonna come. I come in. I come in. I come in. All right. So the most important thing, guys, is that the mackerel um pick up. Now mackerel mackerel rundown is coming from um the Jamaican tradition where um we used to cook down. It's a Caribbean thing, rather. Mm -hmm. We cook down most of our stuff them in coconut milk. Why? Because we never have much other stuff to. We, we never have much access to food in a, when when people were slaves. Mm -hmm. So coconut was readily available on the island, and somehow the African tradition of juicing the coconut came out, mm -hmm. and they used to juice the coconut and just cook it down with salt and seasoning, and became like them call it oil down. Mm -hmm. And that became a, a, a fashionable thing. And after a while, the oil down, they started to add fish. And of course, because they did not have fridge and, and, and ways to preserve the fish, they used to dry the fish. Mm -hmm. And so they started dumping dried fish into the, the, the coconut um, um, redu reduction. So the run down is actually the sauce running down. To a custard type of vibe. And that's why many of our dishes are similar. Like even the stew peas cooked you, down one exactly, part thing. Exactly. The you can turn it around every now and then. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. So that's where the whole idea of, of rundown came from. Tony, you were asking for the number for the detox. The number for the mm -hmm. detox is 305-204-1278. Again, for Tony and anybody else. 305-204-1270. Save it. that number, guys. Save the number. <laughs> I just put it in the chat. Save it so you can have access to it. Okay. Um, you know, and order. I remember free shipping to those in the USA. Oh. <laughs> and Ram said he should have said to save the bones and the head for him. <laughs> Next time. 
may use coconut oil babe me just put in from now two tablespoon two teaspoon of coconut oil from now make it go and warm up mm -hmm. see chef there eh? watch him jamaican turn the back turn the back uh, we say you the lifestyle <laughs> Alright. Look, what are you doing? Oh, you're not ready? No, you're not ready to come up up here. Oh. And you said I must find something. Yes, I must find Stella and Time. Yeah. A woman never want them things, they never think. Thank you for stopping by Troy Graham Experience. Bless Enram. For stopping by my show also. So in truth and in fact, rundown can be can be anything that you cook down in a coconut in a coconut based sauce. Um, in let me try to put this this camera on the tripod, guys. Give me a sec. Not yet. All right. So we're back on our tripod. Again, apologies, guys. Um, yeah, so so as I was saying, it could be anything that you that you decide to to cook down in a coconut based sauce because the rundown is actually the coconut. So so mackerel can be used um, uh, or any other fish that you have available. Or some people like in Guyana, them have one name oil down, which they use pigtail, they use different things. You know, you can make chicken rundown, for instance. You can make um vegeta vegetable rundown you know so rundown is just basically basically um the 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 the, the actual process and not the the ingredient yeah, right right babes you get what i said rundown is the process okay, okay. not the ingredient yeah, yeah 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 you know all right let me just cut up this onion real quick and I guess them call it oil down for this because the yeah, the oil that comes off um the coconut when you are when you are processing when you're cooking down the coconut, it it once it starts to reduce it the coconut oil can be extracted, you know. And as a matter of fact, back in the day in Jamaica, people used to make coconut oil from scratch, you know. They used to make coconut oil from scratch. So they used to just boil it down and then when the when the, the oil is extracted, then you have this rich delicious custard in the bottom of the pot and that was what people used to season up and that used to be good you know and i i remember those days my mom used to make coconut oil at home and we used to get the custard and stuff like that too you know let me try she still makes it though. yeah she still she still does but nowadays nowadays we make um coconut milk where you reconstitute coconut milk as you know with the foreign and accessibility so this is what we use nowadays if you have this or get in your store and find it we make make sure that you're getting the ones that don't have um, um additional flavor because some of them are sweet all right you want to show them how to go about constituting this reconstituting this dish? yeah let me move So we just get a cup. Okay, I use a clear cup so I can see. And pour it in the glass. And then add um, a little bit of water at a time. And the water has to be warm. Well, it don't have to be warm, but it's easier to dilute the... Um, mm -hmm. It's easier to mix out the, the coconut milk if the water is hot or warm. And the thicker, the thicker or the, the thinner you make it to cut you. Right. You want more than this, though, right? 
No, me can't add water to the pot. Mm -hmm. If you guys ever smelled it, it smells like the real deal. The real McCoy. Use it to dissolve. Yeah. And this right here is a game changer for the, the rundown. Have, have you ever seen people cook down salt mackerel? Um, by, people cook down salt mackerel regular, like with a tomato yeah. sauce. Yeah, like when you cook down saltfish. Yeah, so this is the big difference between just cook down mackerel and rundown. The coconut milk and the whole, you know, coconut mm. flavor right. is what gives gives it the, the, the rundown. And regionally, people change, people do different things based on the region where they, mm -hmm. you know, because for instance, Africans do the same mackerel with tomato, but because them blend out for them coconut, them, them, to, for them um, sauce, mm -hmm. it always look, it come out a little bit different. You know, they don't, they, their tomato sauce, they blend out everything. Okay. You're done? Yeah. Let me come UK up. in the house. Linny Smiler. Linny? Yeah, Linny. Linny Smiler, good morning to you. UK in the house. England is in the house. Hey, London is in the house. Why every it, time when we are saying London, we have to try to London. say it with the accent? Leave the people them alone. London. We don't have the accent there. You understand? Guys, have you ever tried Shadow Benny? Shadow Benny? Shadow Benny. Uh, otherwise known as Pulantro. You have to put it in your, your in your pot when you're cooking. It makes it has such a unique flavor. Wow. Very I like intense what you say. smell. Unique. I like what you say unique. Like this a, is the Shadow Benny. Like you're a culinary genius, you just say. It has a very unique flavor. Yeah, it's very it's distinct. Very intense and very distinct. It's and very aromatic. One girl, you're not done. <laughs> It's very intense and distinct and, and right. uh, no, it not stink. It's, it's, it's very nice. It's there, but not in London. Stink. Birmingham in the house. Mm -mm. I think that's where my uncle lives. Birmingham. Birmingham, Birmingham in the England. house. UK in, in the, the house. house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, baby come on. Once again, Yellow yam for me. When I'm not yellow yam today. You sure they're going to go on Mm-mm. You have to show them what I go on my pot. So in our pot, anybody ever anybody can tell me what is the most common if you if you ever heard of run boat. What is running a boat? What does run a boat mean? Yeah. Ask that question. Anybody that's know what it means to run a boat? If somebody's in Jamaica and them call you and say, My yacht, you're forward on the yard today because we're gonna run a boat. What does that mean? <clears throat> Anybody can tell me what does that mean? They will win themselves an extra piece of mackerel. <laughs> so what does that mean to run a boat? See if anybody know. Go, Go out. out. Jack's blend rubs and seasoning. <laughs> Jack, no Jack. No Jack. It doesn't mean. I guess to what go Jack. Out. That's a good try, Jack. Good that's try. a good try. And Jack, is, Jack is is not a Jamaican, so he's he's putting he's putting on every get together. Philistines say get together and cook up food out of door mainly. Yes. Go on, Philistine, yes, 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 yes. 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 So let us educate Jack. When Jamaicans say we are running a boat, it means we're doing a cookout. Mm -hmm. And it don't have to be like a formal cookout. A, a two, two friends can come together and run a boat. Yeah, mainly that happens on places like construction sites or where, yeah. where guys are hanging out. Yeah. M but, mainly where guys are hanging out. But there's also something that's very unique to, to running a boat. What is the main thing that people normally cook? Like the main staple, not the not the meat. No, kind. you can't say that. You can't say that. When I ask you, you serious? Yes. You if you're running a boat, do a boat, if you're running a boat and this is not on the plate, then you're really not running a boat. Tell me what, what that item boat, is. Some people don't like that. Some people will, will do other things. Well, let me see. What is the typical? 
thing that has to accompany your meat kind. Yeah, that has to accompany a meat kind. It, no, not no, not the meat kind. The staple, the starch, or whatever you call it. What you eat with the meat kind if you're running a boat. All right, babes. Um, My family did it when money tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babes. Um, you tell me what to do next. Do I start with my seasonings? Mm -hmm. Selene says it's uh, rice. No, Tracy get it right. Dumpling. Boiled dumpling to me mm -hmm. is a traditional. And that's, that's very important that you say to me. To me. Because when it depends on In my sight, opinion. When it depends on sight, it's if always some big cartwheel. Yeah, but if you don't have dumpling, you have to box up some rice. I want to hear my girl. See, Alaska up... shrimp is a dumpling, yes. You That's what I know. You have to box up some rice. You see me, nowadays, running but different from back in the day. What are we talking about historically, traditionally? Oh, historically, back... me eat 19 dumplings when we go to garage. Guys, I have to put the camera on you for this one. This gentleman, he broke... The record. Don't don't put the camera. So when he was a kid, don't put the camera. Some on. men, I think it was abuse. In my opinion, that was abuse. nobody not abuse me. What kind of thing you attack on the camera, my girl? We my girl, don't put the camera. Let me. She broke it. 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 She broke it, guys. She broke it. Sorry, it fell out of the tripod. So guys, next week. Here, hold Wednesday it. Wednesday is his birthday. Hold it, baby. I'm going to give him one tripod. <laughs> yeah. So, they when the, when them the bet, yeah? Yeah. Or, or, yeah, them bet him same can eat 19 dumplings. Boiled dumplings, you know? And the little boy. How old are you? Um, Old enough to fit. <laughs> old enough oh, so they will have dumplings. How old are you? Teenager? Um, toddler. Tracy, 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 you don't need to hear no story. You were 10? How old were you? About 10 or 13. About it was about 10 or 13. I mean, I understand what you're doing from 10 to 13. Because we missed two years. Wedding. But he wasn't in high school. I think he was 10. And then make him sit on and eat 19 dumplings. Hey, with Aki and Salfish, you know? With Aki and Salfish. You know, um, cream dish, you know, you know, them, them tall gallon cream dish. So them did a cherry on? Of course. <laughs> And from that day, my belly has not been the same. No, your mother should have beat me. It's the name, you the belly TV. Your mother should have gained too good weight. Why would you want that for me, though? Why would you want I her to inflict bodily harm on me? Yeah. I, I don't get it. I'm calling children and family. <laughs> 19 dumplings, damn, for real. <laughs> no, sir. Anyway, full time. Mm -hmm. I got all the camera for the rest of the time because... I don't know what's going on with that chair part there. It a try me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I put a lot of coconut oil in maybe about three or so tablespoons. Um, I know you're not using the metal spoon in the... I know, but I'm just trying to so get you're not the... the pot, you know? No, it's not that be I just a try to get Why you rush me, my girl? I, I, I come off of the life. Can you rush me? And you taught me story. <laughs> Make the people them laugh after me. No, we no, are not rushing. one person at all. Only Tracy Lily. was laughing. <laughs> Only Lily and Tracy. <laughs> Only Lily and Tracy Lily. and, and <laughs> Lenny and Tracy are, and who else? Yes, he need a good beating. Talk truth. See? You see what you're doing now? He need a good beating. Did you tell your mom? Why would I tell my mom? Because your sister knew because she wrote it in a book. She you know, same never tell me, guys. His sister wrote a memoir, or a, what do you call it? A, a memoir. Autobiography. A book about her, her life. And that is where Marie bought him. Because she mad too. She mad too. And so Marie bought the 19 downplay when Marie and um, sister book. Go check it out. And guys, I now wait for the onion them to get translucent or nothing. I just add in my mackerel. You understand? And it's important that I, I like doing it this way because. When you add the mackerel in, it helps to absorb a lot of the onion flavor before mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. so. I cook like that sometimes too. So not every time you have to cook out the seasoning before you Yeah, add. man. Sometimes you have to make the onion go on build, you know? And guys, you want to fold. If you're too aggressive with it, it's going to break up too much and get mushy. Right. And this, uh, this will, it going to involve a little bit of stewing. And you want at the end of the, the I see some Jamaicans cook mackerel and because mackerel expensive now, mm -hmm. them broke up the something in some min, miniature pieces, minute pieces. No sir. You know it's only gonna do one. 
since you just told us, but I'm like, nah. Listen, we, we gotta put it, put the rest right <laughs> now. The fridge, cause there's absolutely no other way for cook mackerel than run down, uh, oh, in my opinion. Mackerel soup, mackerel soup mm -hmm. I think you need to come out for the life. <laughs> you understand? I'm so we have some time guys and we just take the time pull back back way on the time like that and the little top part that is edible you just get it off so tracy ham said she did not laugh at you my brother thank good you good morning tracy. prayer kid how did i miss your entry into the chat good morning prayer kid always oh, georgia say hello to your lovely wife for me and i hope your belly going down like mine because mm -hmm. hey prayer kid monday monday morning me get up early in a prayer kid and decide to me have a cleanse Mm -hmm. Brother, it was a hardiest task, but with Jesus I'll make it. With Jesus By Monday I'll make it. You have to sing every song here? Yeah. By Monday evening, prayer kid, I was light. And his belly was flattered. It's like Monday evening I was walking around singing, I can see clearly now the weight is gone. And he was also singing, I believe I can fly. I found the answer <laughs> down on the toilet. When <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding some minced onion. And guys, this what? if you if you if you have used onion powder before, minced onion is just the, the a step up from that. It's the dehydrated onion and it's packed with flavor. It's very intense. You know, and I like it because it comes out in little little granules instead of a powder. Tracy trying to be funny. But and what happened on Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday? It's still flat. Tuesday I was still I was still um you know feeling the effects of the lightness. I'm using a little bit of paprika, not that much. I, I don't know why I didn't put paprika. Um, um, let me tell you one, one of the things that I always add. And the guys, because it's salt mackerel, I don't usually use salt. I'm using a little bit of cumin. Mm -hmm. And I use cumin in almost all of my meat-related dishes. Everything, actually. Mm -hmm. Cumin is that Middle Eastern type of blend. You know, with my lights. Lenny say I'm gonna do this today of all ingredients. Go ahead, girl. I'll make we know how it turn out for you. Make we know how it Post it on out. your social media in your stories and tag. Tag Yadabelli TV. TV. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on all the social platforms. Cayenne pepper. Plus country pepper? Yeah. Hey, cayenne don't pepper. underestimate cayenne in a bell. No ma me not under me not underestimate you can you know what? I need somebody else to be my assistant in this kitchen. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Guys, we're putting out an ad for um, breakfast lab assistant. Slash she, she, she's irritating to Slash my camera spiritual, person. Supernaturally. Slash sous chef. Yeah. <laughs> Official Jamie, are you left? Why? You, you just come back? Well, we're cooking up the mackerel now. Which is the first step to the rundown process. And as I said, at this stage, some people will put add a little curry or a little turmeric to give it a, like a nice yellow you tinge. Like color? Me not really like the, the okay. color. Um, or your daddy used to do it. Yes, yes, your father used to do it. Me, me not afraid to talk. Me, me not remember not that. Talk because you, you are your friend them. Oh, you're yeah, for real. Do you think me not, the first come to go, go, go your yard and me say, your, your father yellow curry, yellow rundown. I was like, what? You What's sure it wasn't because he used a real coconut? And it curry real, real coconut down yellow. Move. Oh. Your father put curry in the rundown. Because down. yours kind of have a little vibe. It don't have no vibe. Leave my thing alone. See, don't mix think, me. I think when you use a real coconut, it kind of give you a, a yellow curry at the top. Excuses, excuses <laughs> for your father curry rundown. <laughs> But I'll call him today and ask him. Don't call food. him and call me name. Don't call me name. No, because I asked him if he put curry in don't it. Don't call me name to your father. That me a child tell. Mr. Ricketts, <laughs> I don't know, sir. And I didn't say nothing. Anything you ask me, I got denied. It's called plausible deniability. Wow. <laughs> All right. The main event. Guys, you're going to have tomato in your rundown. The rundown is not really running. Mm -mm. It's walking. Yeah. Mmm, it's a bubbles. 
You're not you know it's have a buzz. Well, it's have a buzz. I'm making it. I'm making it, guys. Look on that. And then me just a sprinkle on my shadow, Benny. Tracy, I want some, please, and thanks. Tracy, don't eat these things. Oh, she for once, man. She, are, the, are the tomatoes you want? <laughs> we can't sell up a new tomato here. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to cut up my, I'm going to cut up my, my pepper. I'm open to try it. If you have your mother and you never try this. Are we going to try it from? Are you mother can? Are you mother actually? I'm pretty sure you know all this taste already. You, you know some of these are to spoil, Chase is spoil, make sure not eat certain things. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with the thing. Chase has been eating Jamaican food for 49 years. <laughs> we are trying to chase your party man. <laughs> chase it, you never mix you. What you see? Guys, uh, so much pepper. And the pepper at you know? Pray for me. Pray for me. You know say I go eat it and go. It's not good for my stomach. When the food museum come in or at least a digital. We are gonna we are gonna work on it. We are work on it. Oh Lord help us Jesus. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys keeping me in check and, and keeping my the ambitions going. I do. You know? Really, so it looks absolutely delicious. Should this be one of the recipes in the in the um the food museum? If you did one, would it be catered to Jamaicans? Jam Jamaican food, like? Yeah. With a twist, some of them have yeah. a twist and some of Because guys, let me tell you how you can twist up this now. Let me tell you what you can add to this now. You can add all butter bean. Mm -hmm. Some butter bean with a perfect in this. So you don't you put me? ketchup? Or chocho. Yep. Which ketchup? My girl, I want to the lady, man. Try, talk to her now. Can somebody please talk to her? Mm. No ketchup now going out, see. Mm. No ketchup. You know what? Come on, find out here. Yeah, I have to put black pepper. Yeah, black pepper to go in there. Black pepper have to go in there. Alright guys, so this is what we're having with it. We never really have a whole lot of the, the typical Jamaican foods. Like the yam and the dashi and the cocoa and Our the banana. Food, yes. We don't have none of that. So this is what we have. So all you know is no ketchup, Tracy. If you don't eat it. Or if you never eat it. Mama Zeke said no ketchup. Thank you, Mama Zeke. Why am I saying that? Thank you, Mama Zeke. If you don't mind, so she put ketchup in her porridge. So it's stay white, I guess. If you don't mind, she should put ketchup right in the porridge. So this is all we have for the food. And it's not, well, we have some, well, Jamaican sweet potato or Caribbean, Cuban sweet potato? Cuban. Yeah, and we have the American sweet potato and we have the main run boat item which is the dumpling guys me had to, me had to purposely tell her to put dumpling night put um put little little sweet potato night for to take off shame off our face <laughs> there's dumpling that kill me in the morning yeah. <laughs> it's called me a dumpling if that helps that's still dumpling it's not really just flour it's cornmeal dumpling Ketchup will spoil both the color and the taste. Okay, Orin. Thank you so much, Orin. Thank <laughs> you. You understand? All right, Orin. I take that. I take it. I take it. It will cold ketchup must spoil flavor. Well, I guess it's gonna ruin the coconut flavor. Go on, boy, your business, okay. my girl, and leave my thing. All right, guys. So mega, mega, wash up with me. Wash up my, my, my counter, wash up my plate them, put away the stuff and just start prepping now fish, serve it. You understand? That's all you have to do. Just prep to serve it. Um, oh boy. I'm going to try to put it back, but you just got to not play with, the, play with the tripod. You can't be playing, manipulating the tripod. Um, I'm going to try to. My tripod is basically um, dead, guys. So bear with me. All right, let me just work my work. I'm trying. All right. Work in All right. No, sir. Backseat chef. No ketchup on here. 
those dumplings don't look like whole wheat. So it don't, it's <laughs> not whole wheat. It's not whole wheat. It's um where you put my caramel, caramel dumpling, or in. And um, let me turn the camera around on you. Why though? You're doing too much. Put the camera down, B. Can okay. you see it? You're seeing my fro only, not me. All right, guys. So again, he spoke up before about his one day detox. For those who are just joining, this is what it looks like. It's an eight ounce bottle of green goodness. Yes. That you drink all at once and um, preferably earlier in the day. You do not want to take it in the evening. You do not want to take it at night because you don't want to um, wait, have to wake up in the middle of the night to run to the bathroom. So you preferably take it early in the day. Take it on a day when you do not have to leave the house. Please. You do not have to leave the house and you can, you know have if you if you're living in, at home with more than one people and more than one bathroom you mean no more than one people mm -hmm. but only one bathroom ask them kindly to go somewhere that day to check into a hotel <laughs> and leave it. or you can check into a hotel and take it so you have access to the bathroom by yourself but for real though this is very effective if you are you are having any kind of constipation if you're not going to the bathroom as frequent as you should, you know, if you're only going once a day or not at all in a day, if you have, you know, three day up. gaps between your visit to the bathroom, something if you're, if you're is wrong. Up. If you're hard bong or bong up, <laughs> you need this in your life, right? And, and, you don't think them can hear you? And, no, they hear me. Once they don't see me, they can't hear me. <laughs> it is known. See, official Jamie says it works. Soren said, no, sabak. Oh, sorry, that was read already. Do you make those earrings? They look nice. No, I don't. But we can make it feel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it helps to boost energy. That's one of the benefits. If you have a poor diet, then, you know, poor diet meaning you eat a lot of um, carbs. Cara, cara. And you eat a lot of bad foods. You need to get them out of your system. So poor diet, if you're experiencing body odor, sometimes it has to do with the, the, the condition of your, you know, your insides. Yeah, your stink. Yeah. If the, if, intestine, the if the intestine has a lot of, you know, backup, then that can actually cause you to have bad body odor. If you have constipation and, um, yeah, helps to clean the, the lungs, the kidney and the liver and also helps to burn body fat. So definitely you have this is i wouldn't even say this is an investment because it's very very reasonable reasonably priced so just try one bottle if you don't want to go all out and order multiple bottles it is recommended that you take it yeah you know, every month or every other month depending on you know your particular situation but you can try one bottle 305-204-1270 to get yours and you definitely will sing its praises. All right. Singing all the way to the bottom. So, next on the advertising block, <laughs> while the food is being, you know, simmered, let's talk about our own product line now, which is One True Natural. Yes. Named and curated by us. One True one True Natural is our very own product line. And it was um, created out of my own need when I became newly natural to find, you know, more organic and more effective um, products that wasn't just made in a factory, chemically loaded and all those stuff. We decided that we would go ahead and make these products. I used to go in my kitchen and blend up all kind of stuff. My avocado, coconut, deep conditioner, you name it, I would always be doing stuff and putting it in my hair. So this is the very first product that I came up with. And I came up with this product because I felt like it would be beneficial to my clients too. Beneficial to my clients too, because I do hair styling. Uh, mainly braiding and so this oil blend keeps the hair and the scalp nourished and healthy 
and it definitely is um, composed of some of the most beneficial oils ever. We have our top seller though, which is the Jamaican black castor oil, yes. Organic, pure, authentic, the real deal straight from Jamaica. You can tell it's the real deal because of one, the color, the nice deep brown color, two, the smell, the nice nutty smoky smell, what and kind of what, what, what three, kind of <laughs> the thickness. <laughs> You want your castor oil to be nice and thick for you to know how authentic it is. We source this from the farmer in Jamaica, St. Mary. And so there's nothing else added, just the authentic Jamaican black castor oil. So if you have problems with your edges, if you have problems with, you know, shedding, if you have problems um, with your hair retaining, retaining its length or growing, you have to get your hands on the Jamaican black castor oil. If you've been using gel to paste down the baby ear from the side of your head. Really? You're oh. going to say that when I have my baby oh, ears sorry, later. Sorry, sorry. Forget the argument. Okay. Okay. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have this castor oil mascara product. Yes. Which is also a castor oil based um, lash and brow treatment. And this is to help thicken the brows or to help to regrow or lengthen your lashes if you're having any issues in that department and most recently we added um, skincare we started venturing into skincare so we have handmade all natural soaps to four different flavors this is the lemongrass yes and just a plug in there my son designed the label yes yeah, shout out to JTR designs mm -hmm, just saying and we have the sea moss and turmeric flavor which is the bomb we have um, the eucalyptus mint. I am going to share it, babe. We have the eucalyptus mint. So we are trying to make can share? No. I feel hurt. I feel so hurt right now. Yeah. So guys, to order one true natural, you can call the same number. Or, no, text the same number, 305-204-1270 or shop on our website at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural the website will be added to the chat just now i'm going to share yeah, oh, okay, bring around, bring around. turning the camera and guys if you like my shirt i have a whole stuff other shirts and design like this just click the just click the um the shop or yard belly merchandise um tab and just scroll and you will see the whole of the shirt that movement design and thing and thing. This one says Yard Belly TV, Tonya Han and make fashion. And it has the little Jamaican flag in the back right here. So yeah, and we have an, a whole host of other shirts. So check that out and you know support the thing. And we appreciate each supporting gesture, each gesture of support. Once again, guys, if you like what our content, please give us a thumbs up. And um, the wife says she had a share because <sighs> she won't do some things. I can't tell her what she had because you know, she had war with, her, she had war with herself or then. Any black soap, we have a charcoal um, blend of charcoal and it's charcoal and, and turmeric. Yeah. We have a charcoal and turmeric soap, and I've been using that, and that's why my skin's so soft and gentle. Watch it, my hand's so gentle. Okay. It's because of the soap. Watch it. You just see, my hands just gentle and nice. That's when we touch her. She said, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Take it from a man who suffered from dry scalp from childhood. China man really works. And jo Troy, thank you so much because Troy has been one of our supporters from the jump. You know, Tanya Johnson, mm -hmm. not just Tanya on, she probably at work. Tanya been supporting the One True Natural brand. And we have Jamia. Jamia, thank you so much, you know, for supporting. And Donna, thank you so much. Good morning, neighbor. I know, just dropping in real quick. Donna, are you there at work? Donna, I couldn't know if you're there at work, you know. You understand, because mackerel run down. They could make can run with a tail. I don't know. I'm just saying. All right. So the wife is over there doing the most, the most tests. I don't know if I, should I, should I bring them over? Guys, she over there had the one piece of decoration of one. Me no know. 
Jamie says she's placing an order now for um, Jamaican black castor oil and and try 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 has been using her Jamaican black castor oil so he's, he's been singing the praises yeah what oh Donna says she did work what what I don't know what I sure it's a figure of speech it's a figure of speech big up to to Donna I remember so we have to, we have to really and truly um, encourage Donna in these times because you know Donna work hard and mango soon blossom. <laughs> Donna is not a personal thing, you understand? Don't take it personally, but we have to get close to our friends during mango season. That's just something that automatic have to happen. <laughs> And, um, and Dana, when we walk in in the mornings and we see anybody with mango tree, we are very nice to them. We're like, hi, neighbor. How are you, neighbor? Blessings, neighbor. We are friends of everybody now because let me tell you something, man. Mango time is mango time. And, and Dana, I have a recipe for you. This, you see, the, I don't know if you saw the smoothie that I made the other day by using mango with coconut and the coconut flesh and the coconut water blend everything together and Donna it was so delicious it was so delicious trust me just tell your husband to no chop down no, no more part of the mango tree please and thanks all right we will be over there to clean up the lawn we are cut the grass field we are do everything that necessary to maintain the mango tree in the front of the yard please and thanks oh. You have to go back to work. You say me I work, you not talk about the work. You just have to talk about what you want. No, sir. Don't, don't shut up forget no jewelry, Donna. All right, I'm finished. Let's <laughs> finish. Like it. Can I show the people then? Me not show them. I want to show you. <laughs> Guys, one piece of decoration I go on here. Look where they take the dumpling, the, the good, good dumpling, though. Tracy, please don't talk to my friends. Leave out my friends, Tracy. She's not your neighbor, she's our neighbor. Please and thanks. <laughs> Tracy, I try squeezing herself in the, in the, car, the argument to get mango. <laughs> no, Tracy, not happening. Donna is our friend. We, we're staking our claims. <laughs> <laughs> Scrape off the bacon and give me the fall. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so I'm ready to share the meat now. Let me show you guys what the plate looks like. Guys, look what the girl take this up and turn my plate in a one piece of floral, <laughs> floral arrangement. <laughs> eh? But my corn dumpling one. <laughs> Raw dumpling. Tracy, look what we did with breakfast this morning. We should do man a ton of food in our in a in a, in a wait name there. This is our sunflower. Then you're gonna put the mackerel in between the dumpling. What kind of what kind of floral arrangement do you have to put with, with breakfast life from this morning, my girl? No, sir. So guys, time after, to share the back really, huh? After we not try to win a award. Don't 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 let me in there. You never mention an award. <laughs> after we not try to win culinary award of the year. What's the end? Very good. Mm -hmm. And guys, All see right. the mushroom Thanks. here. Hold on, babes. Mm -hmm. We need um Please. I need the black pepper. Hold on. Guys, anybody black told me er, heard me told him earlier that he needs black pepper? Just ask him. Ask him for a friend. Wow. Yes, you're nice to the mango tree. People right before you teeth them. No, we're not teeth. Right before you bag the mango. Ooh, la la. Ooh, papa. Mm -hmm. Load him up. Nice. Uh, look how me there make me nice look at breakfast. And I, I know it turn it turn um artwork. Like a museum. <laughs> That's what I say. Museum. Put some tomatis. Me not know. 
You don't know if me want Share this. another plate then, the right there. You, you know me I go share another plate. Because <laughs> me no know what kind of decoration is. I don't get no, no something that I leave. No what? No potato, no leave for your potato plate. Me no business, me put the sauce of dumpling. I will put the sauce of dumpling. This look ugly, guys. I'm going to put the green something now. Lord, help her, Jesus. Help her. Clean up your plates. Hmm? Look how the lady take me, take me goodly breakfast life. And turn it in her. Steve Allen to the world. Good morning to you. Order yes, placed. Steve. Thank you, yes, official sir. Jamie. And thank you for your order that was just placed. I'm trying to find a word for it. <laughs> Fine. Dig deep. You'll find Tracy, a word. Tracy, yeah, the word is poppy show. <laughs> But those tiny. Yes. That's culinary creativeness at its finest. I like it. Thank you, Choi. Try, man. Choi. Try. You know, say, you know, say, you know, like it. Try. Thank you, Choi. Culinary creativity at its finest. Try. Don't, don't dry. Try. Do not. Try, say, I'm like I should have put some of the juice right around, make it come all the way around. Uh, no. It's, yeah, yeah, you see anything? The juice is flowing. Looks like a delicious crown. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Anybody who wouldn't answer nothing to them, don't want to hurt me. To them, don't want to hurt you, make you feel bad. I will let you guys know when next I come to visit for St. Lucy because I'm coming for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, Steve, I heard you. No, sir. Add some water crackers. <laughs> Where? Who are water crackers? Dana. Which Dana, Dana take a fish. Take a, a, a steam fish. <laughs> sunrise. Do <laughs> sunrise. Mackerel is the name of the place. <laughs> <laughs> no. Guys, I'm not just pray for you around the mackerel there right now. You understand? But then only one person can not eat the dumpling. That dumpling there. This is like about three dumplings. And that dumpling there cause the food shortage. <laughs> yeah? I don't that think the... it's a bad concept. It's nice, be. It's nice, man. I think I like it. But you see, let me tell you what happened now. You see, get up people. Mm -hmm. When it comes to certain food, they don't want to experiment. Okay. They when want it, it authenticated. Yeah, they just want it big and, and just waga waga like when they used to them granny used to make. And I think they're intimidated by the sweet potato because... We don't really eat this up the kind of sweet potato like mm -hmm. that, you know. You know? Mm -hmm. But I'll eat it. May I have some, please? Tracy saying, take two. Can I have some, please? <laughs> I saw. Yeah, take the wavering <laughs> thing, you know. Yeah, that's $20 sorry. plate. twenty two fifty with a drink. <laughs> me don't eat them something. Me don't eat that. Then me, uh, it look good. Beg you some. It look good. A real Jamaican. Tracy, a real Jamaican. A real Jamaican. This is my favorite sweet potato too. Not this one. I don't really love this one. I love that one. Yeah, that's my favorite. I can eat that all day, every day. And twice on Sundays. Including the potato. Which potato? This potato, right? Because this is the one you can get. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Why don't I name a dish? Why don't I name a dish? You know, you're a sunflower um, mackerel run down. Sunrise. Sunrise mackerel. Mate, those tiny words I have never heard from a woman. Uh -huh. I don't know what that means. All right, he's making his traditional Jamaican plate. Cause because he boring like that. I'm not boring. I'm just, I'm just, this is my food. For that look good me. still, you know? The one we have here look good still. Cha cha B say yam time. <laughs> share please. <laughs> hey, the door also yam expensive, bud. Oh, especially yellow yam. Jeez, yellow yam, yam remember? The other day he went to buy some yam and the person never know what kind of yam. And See, you're not know, to tell them to me, 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 me treat the cashier. Oh, you you, know, tell you them treat the cashier? Yeah. Now you look at your seat and realize that it... it, it. Me see when she put the, uh, the white yam price. 
I could have tell her no, but I have to repent and say, Jesus, it is worth it after all. She must learn her work. Yeah. I go to the Spanish place, them call them, no, no, say yellow yam, them call it name. Mm. How that look now? This, you know, more familiar with these guys. Which one under eight? This or this? If somebody said take a plate, this or this? I'm 90% of them, I take my plate. Which one under that take? 90% If you go to a Jamaican it. restaurant and you order mackerel and they give you this, them not trust, I know the mackerel. This. The problem is they not trust the circle don't play. No, I'm just saying which one would you guys appreciate more? This, this or this? The circle don't play them free. Jamie now. always play both, you know. <laughs> yes to both. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips. <laughs> Tracy say yours, she don't want yours. I don't know, you still gourmet, that's why. <laughs> Tracy, shots fired. Barbara, Lois Spence, what you mean, the Duff one? <laughs> Just a circle dumpling or not? <laughs> Sunflower are regular. <laughs> Sunflower, regular. Sunflower, regular. <clears throat> Guys, I saw, I saw we have to do a little thing. You see me? Market, this is not a practical place. A one person can't eat off all of this food. Exactly. Truth be told. I'm push it over. They're too far over. And the dump and one dumpling to have a go over and the middle. So the thing look authentic. Authentic. So all the dumplings get represented. Um, the duff one. The answer is yes. Oh, the nuff one. <laughs> 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 so <I don't> really... <laughs> no matter how it looks, as long as it's nuff. <laughs> Steve Allen says yours. Number two. I'm not making a mango. No. Guys, she knows so she can't test me. No. She knows she can't test me in the presentation. You know. <laughs> Adapt me a try to say no. Sit down and say regular. Regular. But not too boring. <laughs> when it is boring. Come off of my life, my girl. Adapt me a tell when you. When it right is now. very boring. Come off of my life with your circular dumpling. Circular dumpling, circular dumpling. My name is camera and jump again. You know? <laughs> so, guys, um, um, you can snap some photos, please. Because this, uh, this one is true. We have to continue this conversation, Pan. Instagram, which which plate of rundown takes the cake? This one is hot cuisine rundown from the gourmet section with the circular dumpling. And this one is rundown from the craven section. These are the runboat one. Yeah, these are the runboat one. No, guys. Yeah, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you try now be romantic and sit and feed one another. Try it, not, not gonna happen. You must be mad. You want to bite out my hand? Try, try, create movie. I think I'm movie. <laughs> try. If me ever ramp with my wife with dump with run down, my good as lose all two fingers. You understand? If me ever decide to me, I go feed her when macaron don't share. You understand? My good as lose all two fingers. That me I try to tell you. <laughs> my God. It look good though. Man, I don't uh... Wait, let me put it on. Let me switch switch it on the top to the to the to the, the turnstile. Oh. Switch it on the turnstile. And try this or no. Whether you like it so or you like it gourmet, mackerel rundown is a delicious breakfast idea and everybody needs to try it in their neck of the woods. You understand? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the wife um, a, a, a taste, a taste of what's going on. And how much something you want? No, I can't serve. Okay, yeah, so leave it alone. Take where you get till I get where you want. It's just a taste test. It's just a taste test, my girl. It's so craving. 
And guys, you know me always have to make a, make you see a reaction to the pot. You understand? Now it's going to yeah, a little, a little taste test. It's not, it's not too spicy. Oh, you know, Jamaican something. Yeah, Your shirt look good though. Your shirt look like a foreign shirt. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pink yard yeah, belly TV um t-shirt that look very nice by you. And you look cute this morning and just, <coughs> just nice and natural. I think it's your is the one true natural something them way I use. The shine of mine. And your detox where the detox the other day. I think that those are the things <laughs> that help you. You understand? Because we have to live on the detox and you know, have to make sure it's our body right. My girl, now let me just say this. If the dumpling bun you on camera, smile even when the eye water comes down with the eye. Just smile. No, 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 make the people them say dumpling bun you on camera. Bless this meal to our bodies. We pray. Bless the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name. Hot color, little burn dog. It reminds you of home. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, you look like it has been over in your head, so like you're out for your um, relapse. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. It's good? And it's not spicy, don't it? Mm -hmm. Told you. Told yeah. you. It just have a nice flavor. Told you. The coconut flavor turn up. Of course. Guys, mackerel rundown is a great way to utilize salt in mackerel. And because you can keep salt mackerel... In, now the way salt mackerel comes in the store, it comes in a, in a, one time you have a big old, big dog in a one big old bucket to get salt mackerel in you know, a mackerel keg. But thank you so much, Dana, for watching this morning. Blessings to you, girl. We're going to keep the link going because we know we have to do something for our neighbors them soon. All right. And one time mackerel used to come in at this keg, but no mackerel come in a, in a, its own pressure wrapped, you know, container. You can buy a mackerel and put it down. Um, and, and whenever you're ready, you just reconstitute it and use it that way. The best pain in life is from love, unless it's the Guyanese police woman I was engaged to. <laughs> yeah. And guys, please check out Troy Graham on YouTube. He has a, a boxing um, show, a sports-related show on. Um, when, when I when you're on Troy, Tuesday night and Thursday night and Monday night and Wednesday night and... Is that the Trigram experience? The Trigram experience. So please check it out. And also check out um, uh, uh, official j -Mia. And of course, we need you guys to go and, and log on to Jojo P. Jojo is on. Log on to Jojo P. She does makeup on them Saturday. And of course, check out my wife's channel at Natural Hair Namics. Yeah. Um, she have really, really good... Um, Tutorial by here. All right. So check that out too. You yeah, explain me, I say. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can. And some of my DIYs on how to make your own hair treatments mm -hmm. on my channel. So, guys, check that out. Um, yes, the, the shirt is pink. Um, try. The shirt is pink, uh, but it's a very light shade of pink. It's very, very nice. And it fits in if you wear white or not. My girl, you know, you couldn't even you couldn't even pass me piece. I don't play me. Guys, look there, look there. She work over. No, 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 no. Me not don't want me. Don't, don't want to what left dumpling. Go away. Tracy, she brighty. I come give people what left dumpling. I do not eat what left dumpling. Yeah, you understand? Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I want to shave. Remember to check out my radio broadcast on Caribbean Radio HD2.com. That's CaribbeanRadioHD2.com. Um, this afternoon, I'm trying to write it in the chat room. CaribbeanRadioHD2.com. Yeah, man, HD2.com. That's the website. Um, at 5 p.m. this evening, the program is called Vitamin B. All right? So please check that out. Yeah? Please. May I write it to you in the chat room as my talk to you now? Mm -mm. All right. Breakfast, please. Yeah, so guys, please, please, <laughs> please, thank you so much for joining us today. 
we're gonna fix the thumbnail now and remember guys we've been vlogging all week check out our vlogs we have some really nice vlogs going we have three 13 pounder oxtail try send it down send mm. it down me compete of course me drive from maryland for the oxtail but guys please check out our vlogs um you know and, and and click the thumbs up when you're watching our vlogs and please make sure your notification bell is set to all all notification bell i spoke with google um with youtube and they said um it's just about 13 percent of all those persons who have logged on have rung their notification bell and that's one of the reasons why you're not seeing um they're not sharing the the, the videos as as they should or the, the algorithm is not you know you know it already right with computerization but please guys let me give you a last look on the food yeah albeit it's gonna be devoured in a few Oh, turn this around. Yeah. So this is this is the regular food right here. Take up that, babes. And we switch over. And this is the hot cuisine. It's a <laughs> dumpling rope with dumpling? dumpling rope. It's a Sorry. dumpling rope with um the, the, the sweet potato petals. A dumpling um sunflower with mm. sweet potato petals mm. and the mackerel are the, are the um the look of pollen in the middle yeah it looked good you understand <laughs> oh, i will be there with, in, with my real voice <laughs> so guys thank you once again this is a traditional jamaican food albeit it is still loved by many many jamaicans all over the world and those who have never tried it it's simply pickled mackerel um simmered in coconut milk with a whole bunch of spices herbs and seasonings all right so thank you once again god bless you remember live and laugh and cook and eat blessings to every single person big up and say eat good tv blessings to you thank you so much for joining us this is our our take on mackerel rundown jamaican food mackerel rundown and this is the wife's plate she make it into a sunflower <laughs> and make it look cute with a dumpling rope <laughs> and just big up on yourself guys this is my plate which i'm gonna be devouring right now because i can't wait can't wait i'm gonna drink water and mind my business mind my, my, my business. business drink water and mind my, my business <laughs> my god is a calorie burner this one calorie burner calorie <laughs> calorie, calorie burner he'll do it for you <laughs> Blessings, oh, guys. <laughs> Blessings, official Jamie. Tata. -ta.